Hey guys, my name is Shubhraj Shumnaskar and today in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a video button or simply a button with a video mask in frame or websites. So now without wasting our time, let's get started. So firstly on a new desktop frame, we are going to create a new frame by pressing F key on our keyboard. We can change the dimensions of this frame so that it looks like a button. Once we do that, we can center align it and give this frame a little border radius. So I'm going to choose 16 pixels. That looks pretty good. After that, we are going to import a video component. So let's add it to our frame, resize it just so that it matches the width of our button. Next, we are going to place it over our frame and drag the video component inside our frame like this. Now, next, we are going to add some text over our button. So I'm going to write watch now like this, set it to bold, which would look pretty good over the button. Next, we are going to add an icon just so that it looks pretty good. So we're going to use the hero component and change the color to white. Scroll down and select the play option to get the play icon. And don't forget to change the dimensions of the icon to match the dimensions of the frame that we have created just here. Once you've done that, select both the layers that we have just created, right click and add a stack. And once you've done that as well, grab the stack that we have just created over the button frame like this. If you are not able to see the text over the button, select the video component and reduce the opacity to around 0.5. Like this. And if you're getting some weird tint over your frame, that's because the color of our frame is selected to blue. So go ahead and change the color to black like this. So after we have done all of that, we are ready to create a component. So select all the layers, right click, create a component, rename the component that you want. And after that, we are going to create a new variant in which we are going to select the video component and incre increase the opacity back to one. Next, select the primary component, right click on the styles tab and add a cursor. Select the pointer and make a connection from variant one to variant two when mouse enters like this. And another connection from variant two to variant one when mouse leaves like this. Now we are almost done with our button. So what we are going to do is create an overlay by clicking here, select the fill option and reduce the opacity to around 20% like this. And what we are going to do is import the video component just again. So search for the video component, drag it over our frame like this, resize it and let's align it in the center and then add a border radius to it. That's it. And once we preview it, we can see that we have finally created the video button in Framer websites. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you liked it. Please like, comment and share it with your friends. Have fun. Bye-bye.